Yes, sir. Good evening, everybody who is watching on Rare TV. Uh, welcome again. Uh, this is uh, a chilly, it's a chilly evening, I should call it like that. And of course, if you have just joined us right now, uh, we're just chilling at Sun City Amusement Park where parties never end. I know some of the other might be asking, where could you be today again? Uh, this is Sun City Soroti. And of course, uh, uh, today I have a one on one with my brother from another mother. And we're going to be discussing, talking about music, uh, definitely. And of course, do not forget uh, this show is always uh, right here. And uh, we bring you those guys that you feel or who you always think uh, you need to hear or know about them. My name is Rick Sell. For the people that are watching Emria TV behind the camera, Savon Media and Solo Audio, thank you so much, my technical team. Uh, before even I start any further or go any any step out there, uh, in front of me is uh, DJ Dreads. For those who knew him like that, who later on rebranded uh, to Xavier. And today we are getting to know about how did uh, Dreads first of all come and why did he have why did he have to pause and then Xavier took over and probably is there any possibility of both of them uh, continuing. So uh, DJ Dreads, you're most welcome. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm okay. Mm. I'm good. Okay. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, I see you're doing good, like, uh, by appearance. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How has I it been? Again. How has it been? Um, everything has been fine. Okay. So, uh, during the lockdown, things are a bit tense, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's always a way. God yeah. will always make a way. Yeah, yeah, sure. We managed, and therefore, we're now surviving. By the way, how did you manage the lockdown? Like, two, I, I call it two years. Two years lockdown, uh, hassle was uh, uh, frozen a little. The, the the first uh, six months were not so bad because people had hope yes. that any time this pandemic is going and things will get back to normal. However, when the second wave came in, people started losing hope. Yeah, a lot of panic. The second wave uh, looked uh, a little bit dangerous than the first one. Sure. So people started uh, getting other things to do and, you know, it, it, it caused some, you know, alarm for most of the people okay but however we managed and mm. we're here we're doing great yeah for the people <laughs> who know you out there they might be like a dreads dreads and uh yeah. maybe just to make this clear uh mm. what is the difference between dreads and xavier and why did it have to become any kind of a different people in one person yeah you know i started my career musical journey as a dj and i worked in a number of uh, high-end bars and clubs in kampala uh, most of the bars around Akashia, Kololo, Kisiminti, Wandegea, you get it, and uh, you know, in Tinder. You know, before you get to music, you need to have a base where you're going to make money that to is facilitate true. the music career. That is true. So I didn't have money, enough money to do to record and uh, shoot videos and promote. So I, I decided to hustle and take on something that was related to what I wanted to do. I settled for DJing. I did it well, I delivered those who For know how me. long did you do DJing? Professionally, I started much earlier, but professionally, with confidence and understanding what I'm doing commercially, uh, it kicked off very well at, in 2013. Hey! Yes. <coughs> 2013. Yeah. And then when did it rebrand to uh, Xavier. Xavier? Yes. It started rebranding slowly, but then it got serious during the lockdown. Okay. During the lockdown, you know, you're not DJing, bars are closed, a uh, few DJs are working on TV, not everybody can be on TV. So that free time I had, it helped me write, and I was living with um, the producer who does my music, who was staying in one apartment. And so most of the time we had to discuss music, produce music, make music, he makes beats, I write, he makes beats. So when I got so, you know, uh, used to that uh, routine, I now decided, you know, shying away from DJing, shying away from DJing, and mm. is it just? Uh, did you see music having much money as an artist, or uh, did you uh, see probably DJing is uh, kind of you promoting other people, and yet you thought probably it would be a platform for you to promote yourself? Oh, I didn't join music basically because of money. Okay. I, I just I'm following my passion. Oh, it's passion. It's passion. Okay. Your money may come in. But you know, in this world, they say do what you love. 
you'll enjoy it. You'll do it with love. You'll dedicate time, resources to achieve the best. And wow. that's what I'm doing. It's not, it's not about, about the money. Much as the money may come in at a later age because you need to survive. You're investing. Mm. You need returns on investment. But the reason I joined music is to entertain people. Follow my passion and that's what I believe in. So that, that is from the time of lockdown yeah. until now. How many songs have you already recorded? Um, I've recorded about, uh, could be three, four, about. Okay. Some are not released. Hey. But they're in studio, they're ready. I, I, I'm talking about the ones that are out. The ones that are out from the lockdown period, um, I would say two songs. Okay, two songs. Yeah. Wow, that is good. Like from the lockdown time, two songs. Yes. Uh, yes. What do you think, uh, life being an artist and life being a DJ, which one are you enjoying so, so much for now? Like if you try to compare the two lives. I had so much fun as a DJ. Music, as a performing artist, singing. Uh, I'm just starting the journey. I'm also loving it, but the difference is that uh, um, music as a recording artist is quite demanding okay. in yes. terms of time and resources. And then the returns don't come in immediately. With DJing, as long as you have your equipment, even Always, in the evening, you have a gig. You hit the, you hit the <laughs> venue, you have a gig. Yes. Hit the venue, you have a gig. But uh, with the music, which one is more competitive? Like, uh, which one is more competitive? Most, I, I, I think both, depending on, 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 on what you choose to concentrate on. Okay. Back then, I was concentrating on DJing, so I gave DJing all my time. Currently, I am now pursuing the journey of a recording artist, and therefore, right now, all I think about is. Music, music recording the videos and promotions and all that okay talking about yeah. the two songs which songs are those maybe the titles the first song came out last year mid last year about june or something mm -hmm. it was called lockdown lockdown yes we did it because inspired by yeah. lockdown yes okay we had a song we wanted to ha have released at that time but we didn't want to release that song because the timing for us didn't work okay and uh, so we chose to go with what was trending at that, I wouldn't really say mm. trending, but the situation that mm. was... Yes, uh, that everybody was in. The yeah, situation at that time, which was COVID, lockdown and all that. So we decided to throw out lockdown because we didn't want to release a song that we released a few okay. uh, weeks back. Then the second one? The second one is Malaika. The second one is Malaika. That, how, how old is the second one? Malaika came out last year. Malik actually came out before lockdown. Hey. Yes. Okay. Okay. But because of the lockdown, you had we, to first release We had lockdown. to hold on this because we wanted it to enjoy the best of time in in in, in clubs, bars, okay. promotions, and that 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 wasn't happening at the time. So hey. we had to hold it back, and we released it. Uh, you know, just a few weeks, about less than two weeks back. Okay, maybe before even I proceed, uh, yeah. some of the other might be like, uh, Zavia, where is he from? Where do you come from? Like the best origin? Yeah. Me, I'm from Nero. You're from Nero? Yes. Kumi? Kumi, the district. Nero, the village. Okay. Morikara, mm -hmm. somewhere there. Near the primary school, Morikara, rock paintings. Mm. Just on the road. How, how long have you taken in Tesla right now? Uh, because you don't look like you've been here. Oh, look, I keep coming and going. Okay. Yeah, come visit home, go back, look. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, that is interesting. Yes. Say so you're from Ngora. Uh, Nero. Uh, you're from Nero, <laughs> not yes, Ngora. Yes. Okay, for me, I'm from Ngora. Maybe that yes. is. And I, I the had time. a rumor. I, I'm told the, the first artists who lived there in the caves. Or yes, 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 I yes, don't yes. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. So, so when I record in Nera, I record music. Ah, you can go see the array. Ah, you better come target the music. What are you? Really targeting on? Are you targeting to sell out in Teso? When you bought, you called it a Guela and a Achebo Shokat Kampala in Ara East Africa. My plans sometimes are bigger than so big that uh, sometimes I imagine if I'm imagining or well, my career I wanted to start it in a special way. Mm. Come back home, launch my career from home, move to the central part of the country and blow out okay you know we want to kind of reduce nigerian airplay here yeah that is and true
it it sounds kind of you know like this guy how will he do it but we really have a strategy because one i have a team okay so you, you joined music are uh, currently in Tesla. who do you think is a threat to you musically well, i don't have a threat because i'm not competing you're not competing um, can't be at okay who do you enjoy the music probably who, who are those people who do good music and you also respect them oh uh, well uh i've not got a chance to listen to those underground boys because sometimes the people we listen to are the mainstream yeah. but it could there could be a kid down there who is really so have you heard of any down here in Tesla? but the, of course the known people Roddy governor there was a very nice boy uh, a few years back mm. that I really fell in love with and it's called uh, I love this I love the song that he did I don't know what happened to him along the way but there was a song by Felipe is it Magara Gange or something mm. like that without you oh, wow i cannot live without you exactly they, yeah. they, they, that's the direction you want to take the urban you, you, you fuse that urban vibe yes with the you know our you know basically that urban vibe in in, in our mother tongue here okay Teso. that is interesting yes. so for the time you've been in the music have you faced any challenges yet for the little time you've been in the music industry yeah well challenges are everywhere and, and those are uh first of all the, the biggest thing is uh, I'm pushing, I don't have um, management, like okay. a team. I have a team that we do music, but not a team running things. Running things go and for book you. For yes. me, go and, so I'm running everything alone. So sometimes it's hectic. You have to be here mm, and be there, and, and then in. you're driving, and then you're tired, and then that's uh, one challenge. Mm. Uh, I'm so blessed that right now I don't have a very big problem. Okay. With uh, financing my projects. I was coming there. What else do you do apart from music? Well, I have some supportive family and supportive friends, but okay. also uh, being a DJ, you have established. Uh, you know, you have established a few projects over time. Do you still DJ? I DJ for fun. You DJ for fun, <laughs> not for money. Not for money. Okay. But if you bring so the now, money, uh, it's but confusing. if you bring the money, your, I will take the money. Yours DJ Dread and yes. Xavier and no, I am no longer called Dread officially. But oh. the people who knew me as DJ Dread will always meet Cause. me and refer me. So to when DJ I meet Dredd. you playing tomorrow, probably at Sun City, which name can I come with? Well, I would be playing as an ordinary person. Xavier. Yes. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Xavier. Yes. <laughs> okay, that is not DJ Xavier. Yeah, but but yes. Xavier, first of all, is my real name. Mm, yeah. So if you call me Xavier, it's okay because that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. so uh, is there any artist you look up to be like? Like, is somebody? Is there somebody you look up to be, or musically be like them or better than them? I don't only look up to one artist because you cannot get everything that you inspiration from only one person. Okay, who are a few of those? You look a up few to? of those. I like the old chameleon. Not the new chameleon. The, uh, Doctor Jose Chameleon of old, those two thousand. Exactly. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, a couple, a couple of uh, reggae old legends because there's the a reason. Uh, well, I don't really don't follow him much. Okay. I love his reggae, but it, I don't, it doesn't inspire me in any way. Maybe the only thing. Oh, you're talking about the other reggae of Burning Spears, Kokoti, and well, the rest, Richie Spice. Via reggae, I will come to Lucky Dube. Okay. Uh, because they changed, uh, they changed society in the message. Yes, they yes, pushed, yes. they advocated for unity, love and you know yeah sure. and then I'll, I'll look up to like i mean bob Marley. bob Marley. because they impacted me i don't want to do music that does not impact seeing okay. it i want music that today you're entertaining tomorrow there's a message you're passing on to. educating exactly. entertaining sensitizing exactly. inspiring yes okay so uh still talking about music uh, this is still 2022 very fresh here uh, are we seeing you making any projects sooner this year? They are ready, close? We have ready projects in studio. I have a project, For this year? I have a project at, with Nesim. Okay, that is it, interesting. It's 90% done. Wow. I have a, a project, my I have my main producer is called Lacey Tricks. He's the one who did Malaika. He's the one behind lockdown. Okay. He's a very young boy, still at school. Mm. But he's part of my team. Okay. So uh, he did, there's a song called Ragamuffin Love. It's done. It's just mixing and mastering. You do reggae, right? No. Uh, I, I, well, I do reggae, yes, but uh, not just reggae alone. Mm, reggae, 
reggae dancehall. Reggae is white. Yeah. You have reggae dancehall, lovers mm. rock, yes. rock steady, Rose. and all that. Mm. Yeah. So when when I, when I'm a reggae artist and you see me doing dancehall, dancehall is actually a genre under reggae. So yeah. reggae, I'm reggae and dancehall. You mm. that's how you look at. Bit, yeah. yeah. So if you, tomorrow you see me doing reggae and today I'm dancehall, it's the same. Like busy t- signal will do. A reggae music song, reggae music again, mm. and then he comes and does you. The bedroom bullies, ta ta ta. Exactly. Okay, so as we're winding up, uh, where shall I see uh, Xavier in 2025? 2025. Musically. God willing, I think I would have cut across Europe. Europe is the target. And USA. If we go according to plan. Yes. But you know. You plan and God also plans. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah. Okay, that is cool. Yeah, so uh, maybe like are we looking at you doing any collabs with any musicians in Uganda, in Teso, something like that? Yes, but at a later stage. At a later, not now. Right now, I want people to to, to understand me. What if somebody runs right now? Uh, maybe the Roddy governor I talked about comes like I want I want a yeah. song with you. We would do a collaboration, but we'd have to discuss on when it comes out. Comes out. Okay. Yes. Well, because right now I really want people to understand the, the, like, your strength. You know when you when you come out as, a, as an artist and you start doing collaborations here and there, and people really do not understand your abilities. Yes, they'll be like a because sometimes they may say the other song was better because of the collaboration. Yeah, but so sure, when you do sure. alone, they can now tell your strength, your abilities, and all that. So that's why yeah. I want people to first of all take me in, and then by the time I go to collaborations. Um, People already understand my abilities, what I can do, and how I can, how I flow. Okay, normally in music there are a lot of fights internally and uh, with uh, within musicians uh, yes. themselves. Uh, yes. Uh, probably if I may say, uh, I know sometimes maybe those fights will come to you mm. directly to you or maybe indirectly. Yes. And uh, what advice would you love to give those artists who love fights, well, the- fights? in the name of getting cheap popularity and the rest. Yeah, like you said, it's cheap popularity. The world has moved on. We are in 2020, 22. Mm, yeah. Things have changed. You people want to work. You no, no longer people really don't pay attention to those stunts. If those stunts worked, it was way back. Today, people want to work. Real hard. Otherwise, real. you will base on beef. And a few months, you realize your friend has left you. So for us, we're really not looking at at, at having beef with anyone. And if anyone tries to have it. They will, they will have it with themselves because we don't have time right now for beef. We're trying. Do you know any musician called Lucky Joe? I have, have heard you heard of him. You've heard of him. Yes. Have you heard of uh, uh, Simple Bullet? I have heard of Simple Bullet. A few Candyman. Days back. Candyman, yes, definitely. And Clever Spider. Yeah. What would you love to say about any of those? Well, I respect and appreciate them because they are the the, fo- they're the foundation of Tesla music. Okay. The, I mean. Never disrespect someone who was there before you because you don't know what they faced. Okay. So well, I want to respect. Uh, I mean, give show enough love, respect to them, and okay. uh, encourage them to do what they do best. And uh, hope to meet. Them. I've already met Candyman. Oh. He's 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 really, you know, he's a nice person. We've shared so much. Okay. With regards to music, so respect to them. So now maybe personality. People see you on dreadlocks and. Yes. Uh, there is always that perspective to look at a person on dreadlocks or what. Uh, do you have dreadlocks as you just Xavier or it's because of music related or something else? Well, it's a personal preference to okay. wear dreads because this is my hair. Okay. It's just like any about any any other person's hair, but mine is just locked and twisted. So it has nothing to do with music or what, it's just my personality. Okay. Yeah. And what if somebody tomorrow tells you gives you a task to cut them down? They must have a good reason too. I'm offering you a job, but I need no. you to cut them down. No. You can't. I am doing what I love. I already have. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to give me a job, it's not my hair going to work. You've come to me because you've seen my abilities. Mm. Today we have uh, people in parliament who wear dreadlocks in Jamaica. I think somewhere in the UK. Mm. So some Ethiopia. somewhere in the US. Yeah. So. Yeah. This is just there. Besides, if you even follow the Bible, I think I'm meant to believe the Abrahams and all that um, used to keep hair, and have beards and all that. So this is just hair. Okay, so probably as we wind up, I just wanted to give me a couple of uh, Malaika, the uh, latest song, yes. and maybe later on the lockdown, yes. and as we shall be playing for those guys, uh, these very jams uh, yes. right there on their screens. Yes. yes. Well, first of all, if I give an acapella, I must uh, say I'm called King Egg. 
Xavier? Yes. Yeah, as you say, Xavier, Xavier, you have to put the king. The king. But also his majesty as well. <laughs> <laughs> he great. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, well, Malaika. Amina ngojo, noi, noi, noi. Akoto ngojo, noi, noi, noi. Amina ngojo, noi, noi, noi. Malaika. Naminatka. Amina ngojo, noi, noi, noi. Amina ngojo, noi, noi, noi. Akoto ngojo, noi, noi, noi. It germinated yes, from uh, the song of... Uh, uh, there is a song of, is it Eddie Sheeran, something like that? Well, dun, 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 it's, dun, it's not that. It's, it's, it's just probably, uh, I don't There's know, it was just a coincidence, uh, but it had nothing to do with that song. Okay. We're in the house, we had had lunch, and my producer is sampling beats. Well, I just told him, we're just sharing, I, there was a sound I wanted him to do. So he made this beat and he got that melody. And, and when, while it. I was lying on my bed, I just started doing freestyles, capellas and all that. And this guy's like, wow, you know, we can actually make something out of this. But I ignored it for like two, three days. But it kept, that chorus melody kept playing in my head. Until you were like, And that's why I had to give in and like, this must be something that I need to put down. And then lockdown. <laughs> then lockdown. Lockdown, well, me music. I can just write a song out of the blue, like I'm seated here and a melody comes and I start starts okay. beating in my head and I pen, I pen it down. So lockdown, I was seated somewhere at the roadside and some beat was beating in my head. So I ran in the house, I called my producer, I want a beat. I capella. have an idea, put it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go for Capella of lockdown. Lockdown, where are you going? You man, you, where are you going? It's lockdown, lockdown, where are you going? You man, you where are you going? It's lockdown, lockdown. Simple. It's kind of comic. <laughs> As well, we it just, is Munji who does such music. We're just right. playing, like like I said. We just wanted something that fits that that the situation, the situation yeah, yeah. at the time. Of so, course, they were stay at home. Exactly, um, stay at home. Where celebrate. are you going? The police is arresting people, mm. and that's why if you watch the video, you have. Amoti acting as a policeman, Kapere oh. being the victim. Oh. I had a brother from somewhere, Teso here is a comedian, he was supposed to be there. I yeah. don't know what happened. Hey, I, about <laughs> I am still people. looking for him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so probably as we wind up, I want you to uh, send a message to your fans, people who believe in your music out there, or people that are already in love with our uh, King Xavier, and uh, maybe a word to them as we wind up. Well, I just want to call for their support and. Uh, believe in us we have a lot of music coming we have a lot of music coming enough music is coming in the next song after malaika is coming in a few months from now not so rather up in love no that will be called munyankore hey. it's the one that is 90 percent done By it should have been done but we're still putting so much time and and you know in promo in promotions okay uh, pushing malaika okay so uh the fans should expect good music, good videos, and uh, yeah, just ask them to give, continue supporting us. The Black Brothers is my, okay, my my entertainment label. label. Okay, Black yes. Brothers. Okay. We are a team of four right now, officially. Okay. Producer and uh, two DJs. Okay, uh, Black Brothers and still King Xavier yes. are with me right here. For the people who are watching out there, uh, this is King Xavier. And probably you've heard about him for the first time, but he has a lot of music cooked and still to come out, just like he told you. And of course, we shall be playing them directly on Emory TV. And uh, right about now, maybe before I sample any song, any shouts going to anybody out there? Well, to my mom, to my family, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, to my friends in the US, Christine, and uh, all those people who have supported me. I cannot uh, finish mentioning names. Yes. But uh, I just want to say thanks for supporting me in any way, prayers right. and all that. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much for watching Emiria TV and of course uh, for the ladies and gentlemen who are watching out there. Okay, thank you so much everybody who has been watching Emiria TV. Today I've been having uh, King Xavier and of course uh, the fresh boy in the field. And of course he's so old in the industry but new in the music side. Uh, he's been a DJ. For those who knew him as DJ Dreads and now he's called King Xavier. So I want to thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And of course, without wasting any other time, I want to sample the songs coming out from uh, this very uh, gentleman and gentleman. And I am waiting for more music.
especially I can't wait for the one Nisim is doing. Two months, about two months. Two months from now. We want to give Malaika its time. Okay. Because we can drop it today. Yeah. But let Malaika have its time. All right. Yeah. So right about now, let's go for this one here. It's been uh, of course uh, Rick Salenti is my name in Emirate TV behind the camera. I have Solo and Savon behind the camera. Thank you so much. Yalamano yesterday we So what you just do is buy enough data and of course you share to a friend a link and you watch the show live on your teller, on your screen, out there, on your phone. Thank you so much. It's been me, Rixel, alongside King... Exabia. King Exabia. <laughs> King Exabia. <laughs> King Exabia. Let's go for this one here. Thank you so much.